Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can send driving directions from your computer directly into your iPhone or iPad. Now to do this there are a couple of things you're going to need to make sure that you already have set up in order for this to work. Some of which I'm going to show you right now, some of which I'll show you when we switch over to the iPhone view. First of all, in order to do this you do need to make sure that the iCloud account that you are signed into on both your Mac and your iOS device need to match. So to do that just simply go into the Apple icon, System Preferences, and when you click here where it says iCloud make sure the username is the same. Now simply go into the Apple Maps program which I actually have right down here and make sure if it's going to be you going from where you are currently to a different destination you may want to toggle this first button you see here at the top left of my screen that is the symbol for GPS so it's going to know where you are I'll turn that on right now also in order to give driving directions make sure you have this little car icon also clicked next click where it says directions which will enable this menu here you see on the left hand on the right hand side rather of my screen it already will know your starting location and now just simply type in where you're going. So for example, let's say I'm going to be driving from Cape Cod to Yellowstone. As I start to type, you'll notice that it's going to make some suggestions here. Okay, it's going to look at my contacts. It's also going to look in popular locations. So let's just go in right here and let's go to Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. Okay, it's putting together the directions right now and when it's done you'll see here we do have a few different uh, routes that we can choose from so you can go through and see which is going to be the best and then up here at the very top left of the screen look for the little share button now if you've done this correctly you should see the name of your devices right here obviously just be aware that if you do want to send it to an iPad that iPad is going to need to be a iPad that is connected to the internet through something like a cellular network for now, I'm just going to do send it to my phone, and the rest we're going to pick up from my iPhone. So you'll now see on my iPhone, I just got this pop-up notification that I've received directions from my computer. Now, if you do not see that, let me show you one other little trick that you do need to do on your iPhone to make sure that you get that kind of screen. I'm going to go into my phone's settings, okay, and when you're there, you're going to going to need to go into where it says notification center. Go in there, scroll down to where you see Apple Maps and tap on it and make sure you have settings that are something like this. Okay, These need to be on. You should have it set so that you're either receiving banners or alerts. Either or is fine, but uh, you're not going to get the alert on your phone that you've received it unless you have it set to something like that. That's all everyone, this is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. If you enjoyed this video and happen to be watching us on YouTube, of course we really do appreciate it if you click that little like button. And if you've never heard of us before, check out our website. We are a completely free public service. We have live free classes on Mac, PC, iPhone, iPad, and a lot more. This is David A. Cox, and all of you have a wonderful day. Take care.